I have just made my very own pixel character. Yeah. Crazy, right? It's been a while since I made a character of myself, even though I did my uh, anime character and like Crypta, which is like a software on my computer, that I made the anime character of myself. But now I have a pixel character version of me. It's epic, guys. I know it's been crazy. So today's video, I want to talk about about my, my pixel character, the way I made it, the way I um like make it to an animation, like really good. Um, yeah. So basically, there was I the last past couple of weeks, I did do a, a pixel character of myself, which is type of like. The way it moves, the way it has like really good color, the design, and it's been crazy because I have been doing a lot of things on, well I did that on Photoshop, um, if you guys know what a pixel character is, it's just a, a character that is like colored in blocks, like it's made of pixels, so that's why it's like a type of box character whenever you like Say like in the, like the Pokemon game, there were like, um, say for example, the Pokemon Red and Blue, which they didn't have any colors in that, but the some pixel game characters were like really good. They were like legit amazing. So I was thinking, why can I not make my own character of myself? So I did that. I did that. And I did that for myself. And hopefully soon, I'll hopefully make it in the frame so so I can have it up in my room so it's gonna be amazing I just can't believe I just the last number of weeks I worked so hard on that but I did that in my spare time in college so it's been crazy to like make the stuff like the way you have to like it's like a creative way in Photoshop it's like you just have to make your own creative stuff like your videos or your thumbnails or like your posters your your frames or whatever the hell you want to make those stuff it's just crazy it's been a crazy few weeks making this uh, I did it from a video that I have to learn to see how am I supposed to make those stuff but it was kind of amazing that I know how to like learn and it's just best to learn the stuff before you do it like always do stuff before like you like do anything else like you, you make a new layer you make anything else just follow the steps and it'll help you and yeah it's been crazy man it's been absolutely crazy um it has like i just can't believe i made it like it's just so much creativity for this character that i made um but you will see it after probably in the next few minutes but I'm still like trying to like do something here now and like see how I made it and so so yeah guys look at this um yeah it's crazy isn't it I did this um in like Photoshop and then I just add in the legs and the arms to make it say like it's moving and walking about it, like it really is good like the way I have to like make a move the way it's work walking like look at how good walking it is right so I just move like to the left then to the home it keeps moving every time okay home and then to the right as you can see um yeah this is my pixel character I made it as a uh, grass background for myself and this is just a gift this is just a gift um this is really good like i'm really i'm proud of it like it's just look at the way how it moves look at the way how it moves and it's just it's just such a good type of of a character which has good movements you know you want to have your character walk and not just like staying still all the time so I did this in After Effects and then probably added in Premiere Pro after that. So it's like, so it's three parts I had to do, uh, Photoshop, After Effects, and also 
last but not least, Premium Pro. Premium Pro is like one of the best um, edit softwares for your videos, for your like for your for your videos as well. Like you can just make it as a movie or like. I don't know, like something like a short as well. So this is kind of good. I did this, which is quite interesting. And look at how nice I, that grass background is. Uh, the grass background I just did on Photoshop as well, which is technically um, it's really good. Like I'm so proud of myself that I did it. I'm so proud of myself, dude. I really am. I'm just really proud of myself. Um, for like doing this all by myself and like teaching the way how it's going to be done like how it's going to be like edited or how it's going to be like how to designs or how it's going to be like really good like it's just amazing I have been looking at the tutorials for making pixels our characters which is quite good I learned by step by step it's like it's just like drawing a character of yourself it's like drawing yourself like it's just like drawing of a character that you want to like to make to like design the most which is I want to do that um, I made blue eyes as you can see I have blue eyes here and I have like navy jeans or trousers white shoes and there is the lightning bolt logo I was about to do the uh, SDB on that but I realized it won't be enough room to put it in so I feel like the lion ball symbol looks perfect on it to, to remember of shine dragon ball which is really good I have made my hair blonde as well looks quite good my hair looks blonde because my hair is it's like brownie blonde color but it's blonde so it's like really good uh yeah this is crazy I know it's like one of the characters I made. This is like one of the best characters I ever made. Um, yeah. So I have this pixel character, a version of me on myself, which is brilliant. I'm really proud of myself of this. And yeah, it's been crazy because the way I have to like edit as well, which is the way I have to. It's, cr it's crazy man, it's crazy because the way I have to make the, the character move and the, the design this character, I'm just glad I did it. I'm just flabbergasted that I did it. To make these characters of me, which I did, and make them look like me. If you guys want to know how to make those stuff, please go look at the uh, pixel character tutorials so you can guys can learn how to make them. It's not that hard to be honest. It's just that you just have to do it in like a certain ways like Photoshop or After Effects to make those stuff. And then I think it'd be a bit easier way for me to just use in Premiere Pro because I know it's not in the tutorial, but it's just really good to make those stuff. Um but yeah guys, I'll be getting out here. Uh yeah, for thank you guys for so much watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on right beside the subscribe button so you won't miss any future uploads. Um, please also hit a like as well and make sure that you share this with your friends and family to watch for more videos coming and make sure you check out my social medias in the link in the description too I'll be doing more of these very soon uh, I might go back to Twitch very soon I don't know when but I will be back to Twitch whenever I'm ready for it so yeah I'll be getting out here and as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!